All right, guys. Quick little video here for you. Uh, I'm gonna go over the uh, Keep Truck and ELD. Um, the one I use. Um, pretty much the features of it uh, for owner operators or hold on, start the truck up. For owner operators, um, fleet managers, company owners, everything, kind of what you can expect and what the system does for you. So, quick and easy thing. I have it mounted on my dash uh, with little 3M that comes with it. Now it's connected, uh, but I don't have my Bluetooth connected. I use my phone, and uh, it, it, my phone seemed to work better than my iPad. So I just took it, I ran it from there down behind this panel here. You can see it comes out behind the parking brake into the OBD2. Uh, so that's the easy part. There's a, the lights came on. It'll give you your status if it's connected. I'm pretty sure the left is that it has power and uh, the right is going to be your status. It'll turn green if it's connected via, via Bluetooth to your phone. And it'll also blink red if you're in violation. Uh, so that's pretty simple. It comes in a kit. I think I pay $240 a month. And like I said, it runs down here. And uh, I can just unplug it, you know, if I need to read a code or if we're, uh, we're going on vacation. I'll just unplug it. And there goes my dog trying to wander off. Uh, just unplug it so I don't have to worry about personal conveyance. Don't have a trailer hooked up. Don't have any signage on the truck. Just out with the family. So next I'm going to move on to, um, to a little more technical stuff and the things you can do with the uh, Keep Trucking website. All right, guys. So we're here on the computer now. Uh, as you can see keep trucking uh, we are at the uh, the overview page you can see that um, it'll show your compliance from a certain date um, I don't use I know what that that log was um, just trying to get home but anyways that's besides the point it'll give you a rundown especially if you have um, drivers leased under your company running under your company and uh, you can see what everybody's doing down here it'll give you a map of there's me that's where I am that's correct that's where the trucks parked right now you can also go um, it'll give you unidentified driving events if it's not connected or not properly connected it'll tell you all that and you can go through that whole summary uh, if you scroll down here you can actually upload fuel receipts bill lading scale tickets Accidents and citations. I don't I started to use those and just stopped using them uh, These are actually demos on here, and that's just not how I how I go about all my uh, My paperwork, so we'll, uh, we'll skip here to uh, to drivers All right, we're here on the driver screen uh, As you can see my demo drivers in Mobile, Alabama actually where my mother was born as of eight minutes ago um, But hold on there we go. Um, I'm currently at my house, right inside Pennsylvania. Uh, it gives you a good way to track your drivers if you're uh, either a fleet manager or an owner of a company with multiple trucks. Just to not even have to bother um, bother your drivers to see where they are. But it's um, also a good tool in case something were to happen. Say the trucks truck stolen. Most likely the you know the um, ELD is going to be unplugged at that point, or if your driver, you know, has a medical issue, you're way out west, nobody around. Guy pulls off, has you know, I don't know, I'd just say a heart attack or something. You can at least see uh, pretty accurate updates. Um, you know, the updates are pretty close to um, you know pretty up to date as far as where they are, what time it was. See here at 421 in Hagerstown, which it actually shows you where I was, and that is very, very, very accurate. I was on that street, I unloaded there, um, then I actually, I clicked off to um, off-duty personal conveyance because I was um, empty, headed home, no work left, just, just going home. Uh, and it actually tells you what my, what I have left. For your driver so I have been off for more than 30 minutes so I don't need to take a break for another eight hours 
uh, my drive and my shift for today and what's left on my uh, my cycle for the for the eight days uh, so this is going to be a really good tool if you're having an issue with a driver of where he is why he's not at the location you can see if he's being truthful about how far he may be away from where he needs to drop off or pick up it's just a good tool and I'm you know I'm not if I have to worry about that a driver on my company he's not gonna be driving for me but you know say I never made the pickup or drop off and uh, you know, had a heart attack in the truck I can see at 421 the last time it pinged that's where I was I was legitimately right there in Hagerstown Maryland so it's pretty cool uh, next we'll go down to we'll go down to logs sorry I'm outside the Wi-Fi is a little Wi-Fi is a little um a little sketchy out here but you can go through each day it'll tell you how many hours were worked it'll also tell you miles driven if anybody was in was any anybody had any violations uh, also all the forms that are uploaded for that day as far as an ex inspection report and everything and it just breaks it down by day which is nice especially if you're um, you know say you pay say you pay by the mile driven uh, to your drivers you can go in here and add up the weekly total and it's very accurate uh, for what uh, for what it is it's tracking GPS location and uh, you can you don't even need people to report their mileage I'm pretty poor at doing at doing mileage as far as fuel stops and everything you just get in a hurry and want to get in and get out and don't reset your trip or whatnot but that gives you just a breakdown of daily logs uh, see if we can click in here this is the demo driver they'll tell you where he was how long to you oh sorry guys it's focusing in and out how long he worked and the old school graph of hours of service and then we'll uh, we'll skip down to documents you can go in here and see whatever your driver uploads rather it be fuel bill of lading scale ticket anything to see what they're uh, what they're doing or what they're uploading and you can actually download it straight to your computer from there same thing vehicles you can see your driver where he is that's where my trucks parked now we're gonna maybe zoom out of that so people don't know where I live but anyways that is exactly where the truck is parked now and it knows that as of truck was turned off at 513 and it tells you exactly where it was and that's the last time it was pinged and that is very accurate as far as it'll give you a it says 10.8 miles west and that is pretty accurate of to where I am but that's just a rundown of the keep trucking and the actual setup in the vehicle and the web app that you can use to track everything. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break here. I'm going to let the dogs inside and I'll come back and give you guys my opinion on the on the app itself. Alright, so personal opinion on the Keep Trucking app. Um, I'm very happy with it. Had some issues when I first got both um, between the Chevy and my iPad. I had some issues with it not tracking correctly not it's all automated so when the vehicle starts moving it will it will sense the vehicle moving obviously through the obd2 and it'll click on automatically which is great so you don't have to remember uh to click it on each time the only thing you need to remember to do is when you stop and you are actually off duty like when i get back to the house i'll forget but as long as the vehicle's not moving you can go back and edit the log if the vehicle is moving you're you're out of luck which they do it for a reason obviously if you're moving chances are you're moving freight um, so once I got rid of the iPad and I switched to my um, Samsung Note 9 and didn't have any issues either in the Chevy or the Dodge the reason I run it off my phone is I always have my phone when I started my company I ran my business off of my iPad not a computer which is a 
terrible, terrible mistake. Um, now I leave my computer at home unless I'm going overnight somewhere. I don't need to take it with me unless I'm going overnight somewhere. But as far as the iPad, I would have to bring it in and out of the truck and there was times where I would forget, um, leave it in the house, either have to go back and get it or I in turn just went to using the Keep Truck and app on my phone. Doesn't really use any battery. So South Georgia Hotshot actually showed the logs and everything on it, which is great. It will uh, it will alert you if you're driving and you have um, an out of service violation coming up. It will alert you, which is nice. Uh, sometimes you just get in the zone of driving and uh, you forget your eight hour brakes coming up. But I don't really want to talk about. Um, hours of service and how I feel about them because they hopefully are going to change here. It's frustrating to have to cram everything into a 14 hour day if you're waiting to be loaded, unloaded. Uh, you could sleep for seven hours of that and the clock still running. So there's no such thing as really taking naps anymore as a truck driver which will hopefully change here in the future uh, with the hours of service. So. I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of Keep Truck and ELD. I probably, I'll, I recommend it. No, I haven't had any others, but I always see on forums and through my email, people asking what ELD should I use. I haven't had any luck with this one, blah, blah, blah. I haven't had any issues. I showed you guys the features. You know, it works great if you have one truck, if it's just you, or if you have a hundred trucks you can track everything know where everyone is whether it be when can you expect them to be at their drop off so you know when you can expect to book them for a pickup without bugging your driver uh, you can have like I've said a couple times in case of a medical emergency things like that so I don't get a phone call coming in but that's just, just my opinion guys uh, I just wanted to give you a quick rundown I owed it to you guys. I had somebody bugging me in the comments. You know who you are, but I, I told you I'd do it a long time ago, so I'll take care of you tonight. That's just, that's it. That's pretty much it, and I uh, appreciate you guys watching, commenting on everything. I've had pretty good uh, pretty good turnout with the channel here. I hope to get over a 1,000 subs and uh, give you guys a rundown on pretty much everything I, I do out here as a... Uh, one man operation, going to be turning into a two man, I got a second man running the truck, Levi, and uh, I'm still going to handle all the back end, all the paperwork, everything, so it's a lot of work, that's why I'm sitting out here uh, enjoying the uh, the nice fresh air with the dogs, having a beverage, sometimes it's needed after a long day, but I thank you guys for watching, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, I'll see you guys later.